So as a lot of you guys know, I sell some of my dolls and some clothes and stuff that I make. And I got a new sewing machine. So let's make an outfit. We're gonna go with that um, outfit with the hat, the jacket and the hat. And I cut out all of the pattern pieces. Let's put them together. First thing I do is fit these pieces together to make a little jacket. And I'm gonna sew across the top so it will be across the shoulders to the armhole just a straight you know stitch and I can do these by hand as well I just when I sell outfits I want to make sure that they're really nicely done and the stitches are really small and even and that's hard to do when I hand sew but all the I don't know the intricate things or or um adding say beading or anything like that I always do by hand and some of the hemming you know of course some of the hemming I just use the fabric tack for because it's really small you know Barbie clothes so I have this uh, reprogression 1953 reproduction reproduction doll and I wanted to make her an outfit that kind of suited the times and so I got that McCall's pattern um, this weekend from a fabric store near me and it looked really really cute for that those of you that don't know there are patterns out there for American Girl dolls Barbie dolls whatever and here it is with um, the shoulders all sewed down to where the arms would be and what I need to do now is sew down that arm to the side so I need to pin it together so it doesn't slip around and just sew those sides together. So that's the basic shape of the jacket. And now for the ruffle that goes all the way from the collar around that jacket. And it's like this great big U shape that um, I had to cut out. And then um, I cut out two of them because I'm gonna sew them and then turn them inside out so that it's like a hidden seam. And then sew it all the way from where the collar would be all the way around the jacket. It just adds a little bit of spice to a regular jacket, I think. And now that that's done, I'm going to pin it all the way around the jacket and get to sewing that on and see how it looks. and now to do the collar and that's a smaller u shape um, that i cut out two of i'm going to sew them around and turn them right side in again and at so that, that point like in a hidden <laughs> the seam. new machine was giving me problems i guess i didn't thread it right so it's not really that it was giving me problems i was giving it problems i didn't thread it right and it kind of um, snagged and made a horrible sound so um then my beautiful daughter-in-law came over, looked at it, checked it all out, got it working again. Um, thank God, you know, it was just something simple. And um, so I ended up finishing that part and we went on to the next. And here is the jacket, yay! 
And so now I'm working on the dress. Um, the top part of the dress is going to have this white cotton material and I did double line it. Um, and it is somewhat fitted but not terribly so it will fit the new style Barbie as well as this um, old uh, Barbie shape body um, <laughs> on this one. So I wanted to make sure that it would fit both Barbies because if I do end up selling an outfit like this uh, I want to make sure that whoever buys it can fit it on their Barbie. Doing it um, double like this will hide the seams and everything but I do have to turn it right side in after I sewed it like this and I'll show you the shape of it what it looks like it's a pretty basic shape for a, a blouse or a top and it's going to be the top part of the dress <laughs> the shape there you've got the uh, front part and the two back parts and basically um, you just uh, at that point you just saw it, uh, sew it down the sides leaving the armholes and so I'm going to pin it together like this and sew it down these sides and this is the skirt part you have um, one that was cut on the fold, that's the front, and then two for the back pieces. These are the back pieces. You can tell because it does have those tabs on the back there. And this is the front piece, and it was cut on the fold so that it just folds out into the whole front of the dress. Basically, all I need to do is put the sides of the back there on the front and sew it down the side. It does have a couple of um, little darts in there too that I need to sew but that is what it looks like so far and uh, now I just need to attach the top to the bottom so I'm gonna pin it together the right sides facing each other and sew it across that line there for the hat it's pretty simple but you just sew the top around the sides and um, then sew down the, the side of the hat there and here we are just turn it right side in and then um, I'm just going to kind of roll up these edges here because I really like the, the look of oh, thread got to get that just gonna roll up the hat on the bottom because I like it to look a little bit more thick you know that that rim around the bottom I want it to be a little bit thicker so I'm gonna roll it up and uh, and put it on her head and see what she looks like and here she is guys I hope you really enjoyed this I don't know how sewing videos go but um, please leave a like. I hope you watched it all the way through and comment. I always love to hear your comments. Let me know if you like this kind of content too.